some of you viewers have asked me um, what um, other type of uh, fruits you can grow up here in the high desert uh, besides the uh, nectarines, uh, the plums, and the peaches. Well, uh, you can also grow uh, berries. Berries do excellent up here in the high desert uh, if you have the, uh, the proper soil. And uh, from time to time, uh, you may want to um, uh, cover them uh, from the uh, uh, direct sun. Other, other than that, uh, they don't require any um, special attention. As you can see, uh, this particular uh, raspberry vine is growing uh, right next to uh, the uh, corn and next to the uh, a bunch of zinnias. Unintentionally, um, I had to uh, make, uh, make some changes around my yard uh, because of my tomatoes and because of the uh, corn. Uh, now uh, this uh, vine is going to be crowded. But it's okay, um, I should be able to still harvest uh, some uh, raspberries uh, this year. This is the second time that I grow uh, raspberries uh, up here in the high desert. Uh, the first time, I remember growing it about, about five years ago. But at that time, I grew them in pots. And um, they did great. Another fruit that you can grow successfully in the high desert is uh, strawberries. Uh, strawberries, they, um, they like the cold weather, um, but up here in the high desert, it can get really hot. But uh, as long as you uh, cover them with uh, some type of uh, shade cloth, like I have in this case, uh, you should uh, be able to grow strawberries successfully. And, um, You don't need any uh, special, anything, any amendments for strawberries as far as I'm concerned. As long as you have just the uh, um, good soil, uh, you don't need to use any amendments. At least uh, in my yard, I don't like to uh, use any fertilizers. I like, the, I keep it as organic as possible. I do not use any fertilizers, fertilizers whatsoever on anything that I grow around my yard as you already as you guys already know um, one thing that you have to watch out for is the critters if you uh, don't pay attention to the critters or bugs and stuff you can see big example right here look at that those guys they got to my strawberry before me which is okay I don't mind sharing but uh, you want to make sure you stay on top of this as you can see, look at that, all the cr critters all over my strawberries, but it's okay. Anyways, so strawberries is another uh, fruit that you can grow uh, in the high desert. Let me show you one more thing. Okay, here it is. Uh, I'm not going to take any credit on this one because this is my, this is my neighbor's uh, uh, blackberry uh, vine that it's uh, growing up against uh, this fence uh, which is on my side of the yard but that vine right there comes comes back every year and um, I also get to harvest uh, um, uh, blackberries that that are on my, on, this, on my side of the yard as you can see it's already going to flower and guess what it's also putting out uh, side shoots or roots on my side of the yard. So that's mine right there. So yeah, guys, uh, you can also grow. Um, let me show you one more thing that you can also grow in the high desert that I did not, that I didn't know about. Now, my neighbor has been growing uh, sugar cane uh, on his side of the yard for the past three years. It takes forever for them to uh, produce a sugar cane but but it does believe it or not even up here in the high desert that gets extremely hot as you as you as you already know sugarcane uh, only grows in the tropics but he doesn't have any problems uh thank you guys for watching i really hope you like this video if you have any comments any suggestions please drop them in the comment section below until then